Welcome to Milk Out Farms, everybody. We got a couple challenges we've got to get fixed today. We got home yesterday and found that our spring was empty. So that is our big, big concern. What we're going to be doing today is working on a couple of projects. One of those being the getting the springs ready so that we have to get another spring ready so we can have it for our animals because that could be a big, big challenge. Forest. We're going to access the spring from the inside of the pastures. Our goal uh, is to take water from one spring and siphon it over to a big watering trough for our animals. Once that one fills up, we're then going to take and siphon it to a second trough so we can feed both of our animals. Effectively, we're going to do the same thing with our, uh, our big trencher at some point so that we have a permanent solution. But on a farm, if you don't have water for your animals, things can get bad really fast. You probably can't hear me because of all that wind. I'll stop. Here we are at the sheep shed. We gotta do this one pretty quickly because they'll come out and hang out with us. Alright guys, there's our sheep. Over there, a couple of alpacas. Those are our male alpacas. Hopefully everybody's doing okay over there. All of our females are right inside of there. And now we're heading over to do this water down on the lower side. All right, guys, I just always say guys. Hey, folks, we are getting over to our water. We're getting over to our waterer, and here we are at our waterer. We came down this morning and cleaned out the waterer. <sighs> when I say cleaned out, I mean there was stuff in it looking like this. This goopy, goppy stuff, just like this. And these plants were sitting on the top doing their thing, right? We got it all out of there. And now we're gonna connect in here with our hose. Just like that. Connect with our hose. And we're gonna get it over to a watering trough down below us, right over here. See the watering trough way down there? We're gonna connect that water trough, and then once it fills up, we're gonna connect the other one. So we can hear, well, we got it over here, guys. Right in here is where the water's coming in, and right here is where the water's going out, feeding another water trough. We're gonna to connect to this pipe here with our water hose, fill it up with water. Once we're done filling it with water, we're gonna cap it and then begin to drag it down below. Guys, there's a couple of ways we can do this. Always can go down and try to siphon it back. We can run the wire, run the tube, and then go down and try to siphon it. I think that's a bad idea. I think a better idea or an easier idea for me would be to let this thing fill up with water inside. By just feeding it in. I mean, take an extra minute or two. Once we fill this hose up with water, we cap the other side off. Then we got a hose full of water. Hopefully.
you guys can see this, what we're doing, pushing it all under water, getting the air out of the line. There's going to be a little air in the line. I couldn't find a cap, so we're just going to use a hose end. Now we're capped off. <clears throat> we got a second hose we're gonna connect. And possibly a third hose. So as you saw, we ran the hose from our water trough here that's coming in at a nice steady clip. We did choke it down a little bit and uh, we moved it down here. Guys, once we're done with this trough, we let it fill up. Once it's filled up, we're gonna run a trough down to the next one. And actually we're gonna mimic this with our, um, our trencher. We're gonna come down here later in the summer, trench this pup, trench this guy right on out. Guys, some of the things you got to think about um, when you consider rural living or living on a farm is that everything changes. So your day could start off like a normal go feed the chickens, take care of the animals, normal kind of day to what we have right now, no water. So when that happens, you've got to be ready to make that change. You've got to be ready for what's going to happen. That doesn't mean that you're always on pins and needles. But what it means is things are happening, things are evolving. It's always something. So you've got to be used to, ready for that, that change in, uh, so that you have a good day. And every day is a God-given amazing day here on the farm. Uh, what we've done, we've made a change 101. What we're going to do is take the water, put it into this pasture because this is where our cattle are. And that's where we want to make sure we get watered first. Um, because there's a lot more animals in this pasture than there is in the pasture behind us. So let's get that over there. You might be able to hear the water. The water's running out of the hose now at a really good clip. We're blessed. I'm completely blessed by having water on the farm. Couple capfuls of bleach to kill off any bacteria that may have been in that waterer, and it's ready to go. Now guys, that's all we're going to do, get this thing filled, once we get it filled, then we're going to go up behind me on my left, back up the hill a little bit, put another waterer in, fill that one up, draw from that one to fill this one. So now we've got water for our animals, it's a good day.